Hello, wonderful YouTube. My name is Pastor Sam, and I am here today on Friday, May 25th, 2018, to go ahead and tell you about YouVersion's daily app verse for today. Um, today comes to us from the Psalms, and that is Psalm 51, verse 10, which tells us... Oh, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm all out of, the, I'm all out of order today. Um, I'll be reading from the New Revised Standard Version, which is unavailable in the Bible app, and it tells us, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. This is the word of God for the people of God, and thanks truly be to God. My friends, I think instead of sitting here and talking about repentance, I, I think on this Friday, Memorial Day Friday, I think it's good for us to just go ahead and listen to this psalm. So if you'd allow me, I'd... I'd like to go ahead and read this for you. I'm just thinking, you don't, you don't really have a choice. So let's just take a step back, close your eyes, and listen to the psalm. Psalm 51, prayer of cleansing and pardon. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, and that you are justified in your sentence, and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. Your tru you desire truth in an inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my inequity. Create in me a new clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, as in sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will treat transgressors your ways, and sinners to return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God, my salvation. And my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise, for you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give you a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered at your altar. My friends, it's just, it's the truth. There's nothing you could do in your life that would ever stop God from loving you. There's nothing in your life that you've done that would stop you from being able to come back into the family of God. My friends, we live with an almighty God who is ever loving, ever faithful, ever great. And he is always ready, willing, and able to bring you back into the fold. All you need to do is come to him with a full and honest heart, a broken spirit, as it says, as an acceptable offering to the Lord. Because God takes everything that's broken in this world and he restores it, he renews it, and he makes it in his creation instead of what the world wants us to have. My friends, I am Pastor Sam and I'm so gracious you decided to go on this journey with me today. I'm hoping tomorrow I can do this on location with my wonderful family. But if not, you will see me later. I'll be praying for you all and I will see you again tomorrow. Blessings.